In just the first month of his third term in Congress, today we're checking in with 5th District Representative Glenn Thompson to see what's been accomplished so far and what's in store for the future. Hi, Glenn. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Tracy. It's great to be with you. So going into this term, you said your top priority was to bring more jobs to the region. So, so far, what progress has been made? You know, we've actually off to a really good start, Tracy, with that. Uh, going back to a piece of legislation that was passed on the very first day of the year, on January 1st, uh, and it locked in the lower tax rates from 2001-2003 for 99 percent of Americans. And including within that, we were able to get the upper limit to a point, includes a lot of small businesses. And it really is, you know, the small businesses are economic engines. Uh, the other thing it, it does for jobs with small businesses, it, it locked in in a permanent way, as well as those other tax rates are now permanent at a lower rate, it, it permanently locks in a lower estate tax. And, you know, it, when a generation passes, that the, the ability to pay that estate tax makes a difference of whether those jobs continue, that business continues. So I'm very pleased. We're off to a good start. We've got a lot, of work, a lot more work to do, though. So tell me about your focus on education, because we know that's where it all begins. How are you working to make sure education in Pennsylvania, and specifically in our region, is properly aligned with the real world and, of course, the workforce needs? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, this is something I proudly do for Erie County, for the 5th District, and quite frankly for the nation. I, I've, I'm, this will be my second term serving in a leadership role as co-chair of, of a bipartisan Congressional Career and Technical Education Caucus. Uh, and that is really about matching up opportunities for education with the, with the jobs that are out there, that are available. And as we look at the retirement of the baby boomers, which is happening tens of thousands a day across the nation, a lot, a lot of jobs are coming opening that employers, uh, mostly manufacturers, but also some service industry, cannot find qualified and trained workforce. And so that's something that... Uh, uh, that's something I'm providing leadership on uh, legislatively where as we look at reauthorizing, changing dramatically, no child up behind. I've, I have legislation I've introduced as a part of that, uh, making sure that we strengthen the role of career and technical education training. Uh, we need to be educating to meet the, the, the gifts of each child, uh, to have every child achieve opportunity. All right, and finally, let's talk about gun control. Following that massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School, it seems it's just a heated debate that will not soon be over. So, Glenn, what I want to know is, in your opinion, how do we best keep ourselves and especially our children safe? Well, uh, Tracy, we really need to take a step back. Uh, there are some that have an agenda, uh, want to go into more gun laws. I don't believe that's, that's warranted or appropriate. We need, but the discussion that we need to have is really about the culture of violence that has emerged in this country. Um, you know, so we, we need to look at all the different ways to keep ourselves safe. We need to look at uh, behavioral health. Or we, when you look at the profiles of those who are the perpetrators of these, just these past incidents, uh, is the mental health system working? Is it failing? We, we need to have that discussion. Uh, you know, we need to look at how, you know, what are the things out there that are influencing this, this culture of violence? Um, safety should be first and foremost in all of our, uh, all of our lives. All right. Thank you so much, Glenn. I 